In our culture today, there's a strong belief that who you are determines what you have the right to say. And there are certain scenarios in which this is very unhelpful because it assumes that there isn't an objective truth out there that somebody could recognize whatever viewpoint they were coming from in terms of their own experience. But at the same time, there is a grain of, of helpfulness in this way of thinking. I have three children, so I've given birth three times. And if I was standing in a, in a group of people and somebody came up and asked the group, tell me what it's like to give birth. And before I'd opened my mouth, a man in the group started to share what it was like giving birth. I think I and the other women in the group who had given birth would look at him as if like, why are you speaking right now? You actually have no idea what it's like to give birth. Legitimately in that situation, my life experiences would give me the right to speak at a time when his life experiences didn't. Now, if this man, instead of suddenly proclaiming what it was like to give birth, said, I have listened very carefully to my wife who has given birth three times, and this is her experience that I would like to bring to the group. It would be a very different kind of conversation. I step into conversations surrounding race and surrounding oppression and marginalization in most senses as someone who has honestly never experienced oppression or marginalization. So a lot of the time, I'm actually gonna be wanting to keep quiet and listen carefully to my brothers and sisters who have experienced that. And I'm going to want to be reading up on the history of oppression so that I actually have that, that knowledge to, to speak from if I'm going to speak. But then it's also very helpful at times for white folk like me to speak up very clearly when it comes to the history of racial oppression in this country and to the experiences of oppressed and marginalized people because we have actually listened to them first. So as Christians, we should always be slow to speak and quick to listen. And we should recognize the ways in which our voices can be powerful in terms of loving our neighbor and especially loving our neighbors whose life experiences have been very different from our own.